Hey gents, this is one you guys have been waiting for. Today we're gonna to talk about DSTLD jeans. I've been wearing a pair of DSTLD's 12.5 ounce raw 24 dip indigo timber jeans for the past two months. I wanna give you some of my impressions, talk about how they've worn, and then answer any of the questions that you might have. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to keep videos like this coming about the best menswear on the internet. Give a thumbs up for flannels in fall. Make sure you're signed up for future giveaways on my channel. You can see some of the details in this video right now on the giveaway I'm doing today. And if you like my videos, please share them with somebody that wants to learn about the best menswear on the internet. I think the best place to start to talk about DSTLD is to frame the, the denim market. You can pay virtually whatever you want for denim. You can start at your H&Ms and Old Navies and pay you know, 20 to $30 for a pair of jeans. You can start out at the low end of the Levi's lines. Uh, you can go to their outlets and pick up jeans for, what, $15 sometimes, very cheap. You can go to Nordstrom and spend $150 to $250 up here where you're talking about uh, AG jeans, you've also got diesel, true religion. So you have higher price points, then you also have luxury up top of here, but we're not really looking there. Then there's this middle market where you're paying 50 to $150, uh, and I think the quality of jean in between those ranges can be a little hit or miss. That's where companies like Gustin, DSTLD, and others come into play, Mott and Bow, where they are the premium type denim you'd be getting at the Nordstrom, but they sell them at wholesale prices, which means that you are paying what Nordstrom would pay to buy these from the company directly. I have a series of videos that I'm planning to talk about some more of the business model behind clothing. So if you wanna see those, stay tuned. But I think that's all you need in order to get an idea of where DSTLD sits. The 12.5 ounce raw denim that I'm wearing today was $65 which compared to most other raw denims that you can pick up is an extremely fair price. After two months of wearing them, they still look very new. They haven't really gotten into that worn or faded look yet, but that's really the reason to buy raw denim is to buy jeans that form to your body over time. They wear in all naturally, just the way that you wear them. You can see the wallet fade on the back or some of the ways that your body contours, the jeans fit into and then wear in a very unique way. I have been impressed with the DSTL jeans so far. They didn't really uh, leak ink all over the place like I have had with other raw denim. Uh, I was really worried about my car. I have a brown leather seat and I was really worried that it was gonna turn blue over time, but it's been very good so far. I think the jeans have a very good fit to them. I usually wear a 30-34. In these, I got a 32-34. So the sizing, I haven't really nailed down yet. I am gonna order another pair of their selvage because I, I really like this first pair I got. So I'm gonna talk about those when I get them. But I can't say for certain that they have a better fit than the Bonobos selvage denim that I own. Uh, that's just because Bonobos has some of the best fitting pants, in my opinion, uh, that you can buy. The details of these pants feel really solid. The zipper and the buttons feel very high quality. They're very sturdy, and so there's nothing to worry about there. I would absolutely compare these to an AG jean. AG jeans are looking at at least $150, so these are half the price of AG jeans, but I think very comparable. Uh, I have a pair of AG jeans from three years ago, and instead of getting those again, I would absolutely pick up DSTLD. I typically wear a 34 inseam on every single pant, and these ones come a little bit further down on the shoe than I would prefer, which is, uh, you know, the style right now is to have it come right to your shoe and, and no further. These ones are a little bit longer, so I do have to cuff them. But from a high level, I would absolutely say, check out DSTLD, worth the money, absolutely. I am looking at these in the lens of comparing them to the Gustin jeans that I have, which are probably my favorite jean, even above the Bonobo Salvage denim. So I do wanna do some follow-up on the DSTLD. You guys have been asking for this video. I've been wanting to give it to you. If you have any questions about DSTLD, happy to answer them below. Reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter. Stay tuned, I have a ton of videos coming for you in the month of October. Many different companies we're gonna be taking a look at. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. This is my son, uh, still no baby yet. It's October 1st, we're expecting our second on Monday is a due date, so uh, maybe I'll have an update soon, but when I post this on Monday, maybe I will have a baby by then, who knows?